um, Joe, um, I need to know when you um, finish with the uh, photographs. Okay. And then um, I, I guess it's one of those, I'll read your lips. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stand by. Um, Professor Shostakov, maybe you can you can help by by uh, helping Jan by keeping good notes uh, in, in the chat box so that she knows what we're doing. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Let's let's go ahead and start. I want to start by uh, looking at. Uh, I want to start by looking at some campaign signs. Campaign signs. Oops. Let's see. These appear uh, everywhere in the city. Uh, uh, they're colorful and uh, uh, they're on streets. They're in in the in the in front of people's houses, and uh, and they are about local elections. We have. Uh, next week we have the presidential election, but we also have statewide elections, and we have uh, local elections, and uh, and those are for public office and for different kinds of decisions. So this this sign, uh, Dina, uh, Dima, I want I want you to describe to read this sign. And describe it and tell us what it means. Mm. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Mm, yes, okay. Uh, this, this sign, she uh, posted uh, Chelsea. I think that Austin is uh, it's a town or a city. Yes. Mm. Uh, and so it's campaign, uh, probably against uh, school tax, against taxes. Uh huh. Uh, and go ahead and read the rest of it. I want you to read the words. Keep posting false. Stop the bleeding. Kill the med school text. Okay. What is med school? What do you think med? What is med school? I think now, as I understand, it's a med school text. It's it's one. It's one. Um, it's special special place, as I understand. So it, it's a it's a medical school, the Medicinsky Institute. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and one of the one of the issues has to do with whether the city will issue bonds, like borrow money, to build a new medical school. So these people say, kill the medical tax. You know, kill the tax. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's one. And uh, Misha, are you there? Uh, yeah. Misha, I want you. Here's. Uh, um, I want you to look at the sign that says "Vote Two." Vote Two. And 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 read it and tell us what it means. Just read the words. I'm I I'm not don't understand. There's a light. What what one? I I don't I don't just just read all the words. Can you just read all the words? Keep Austin healthy. Ward four broke one. Okay. Keep Austin healthy. Vote for Prop one. Prop is a short for proposition. Prop. Pro. 
Предложение. Предложение, да? Предложение проголосовать. Okay, so so vote for Prop One. And here's here's the other side. This is vote. Now I, I've gone to vote. The sign that says vote. Keep Austin healthy. Kill the med tax. Huh? Now all of you can see that um, you know both both people keep Austin healthy. Vote for keep Austin healthy. Vote against. Well, th this is the way. Well, which one is it? Which one is going to keep Austin healthy? Do, is it vote for vote against? But but the slogans here are very simple mm -hmm. and very. Um, uh, uh, kind of a, there's no connection, no apparent connection between health and 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 borrowing money, but both people would want you to think that that's the case. All right, Daniel, are you there? Yep. Would you uh, would you look at the sign that says vote three tab that says vote uh -huh. three? Okay, do you have it? Yeah. So go ahead and read the sign. Reelect uh, Sam Gudman, Austin I as the school board place to putting our children first. Putting our children first. All right, AISD uh, uh, Austin ISD stands for Austin Independent School District. It's the it's it's the school system in Austin, and the school system is governed by a board of trustees. And Mr. Guzman wants wants to be elected to this office. Now, what is his reelected? Real exactly. That's a, that's important. What does reelect mean, Daniel? He is now. Uh, he was elected once before, and he wants right. to be reelected. He wants right to now. be reelected right now. Good. And, and what is his motto? What is his slogan? Putting our children first. Yep. Boy, that, that's good, huh? That's like. That's like keep Austin healthy. Can can you disagree with putting our children first? Is is that something that you would disagree with? So we have keep Austin health, keep Austin healthy. We have keep Austin healthy. We have Putting our children first. Keep Austin healthy. Putting our children first. These these are these are wonderful slogans. They're the kind of thing that people would want to rally about. I remember. I remember during the uh, uh, Russian elections back in the 90s. Somebody somebody asked. Somebody asked Zhuganov. Somebody asked Zhuganov, "Visa communism," and he answered, "Ya za lutruyuzism, ya za which you know, which is kind of like putting our children first. Very good, Daniel. Thank you. Putting our children first. Andre, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Andre, okay. Let's see, Andre. I would like you to look at the sign that says "Vote for this one here." Vote for. Vote for. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, on proposition three of the children's plan, and now Wait. on proposition for the political plan. Yes. Okay, we'll read, read the word. So, yes, on Proposition 3, the citizens' okay. plan. 
the citizens plan and the politicians plan so um, so andre what uh, if you if you look at this what does this what does this tell you what is the difference between the citizens plan and the politicians plan mm, the citizens plan is like the social sphere it's like uh, we we make your life better in uh, the citizen the citizen Grazdanin, da? Yes. At the plan naroda. This is the plan of the people. This is the at the nash plan. Yes. And what about Proposition Four? Whose plan is that? Mm, it is the plan of, for politicians, not for citizens, not for people. It's uh, like only for head of government or something else very good that, that's that you're absolutely right so kind of emotionally again emotionally which one do you prefer the blue one or the red one according to this uh, the blue one the blue one of course absolutely absolutely okay Svieta Let's see, what did I want you to do? Sveta. Um, uh, Sveta. Let's, let's do n number six. Here's another, here's another. We just saw where it said proposition four is the, uh, is the politician's plan, but here's one that says vote yes for Proposition 4. Um, so r read this, Sveta, please. Mm -hmm. Move Austin forward, vote yes for Proposition 4. Fair, inclusive, progressive, and district uh, to a large one mayor. Okay, we're, we're talking about, uh, we're talking about a, a plan to reorganize the government mm -hmm. and, and before they said Proposition 4 was the politicians plan this one says Proposition 4 is fair inclusive and progressive oh, what do you think does that sound nice I don't know. Huh? what do you think fair inclusive and progressive Move Austin forward, forward. Vidiot, skvost to man. What do you think? This is good. All right, vote yes for Proposition 4. And Ilya, Ilya, let's see, which one, what do we have here, Ilya? Ilya, let's, uh, let me see. How about number five, the, the tab that says vote five? The tab that says vote five. Ilya, are you there? Yeah. So read uh, the 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 sign vote five, the red sign there, and uh, and tell us what what you think about it. What does this mean? ACC teacher support. Uh huh. Support. It may be as you see, it's, uh, some association, um, as, as some association uh, teachers in the uh, USA uh, Kaplan, maybe his name of organization. Kaplan is, is his, at the Evo Familia, it's his name. Familia, yeah. Okay, sorry. Mm. 
So you have uh, uh, ACC teacher support, reelect Kaplan ACC board. Uh, ACC is Austin Community College. It's where I work. This is this is this is my, the school where I work, and and Mr. Kaplan wants to be reelected. So if you're uh, if if you're a uh, uh, if if you're an educator, whose support would you want to have? You would want to say, you would want to say the teachers support. Uh, <laughs> A, a candidate, you know, be, be well. I'm a teacher, yeah. and and I know Mr. Kaplan. I've known him for many years, but I I uh, and I, I I will probably vote for him. But but there's no there's no uh, organization of teachers that support him. How many teachers support him? We don't know. Uh, 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 this is a kind of general statement that uh, that is different. It's like uh, keep Austin healthy, or it's like the politicians' plan, or it's like uh, fair, inclusive, and progressive. This is good language, ja za but it's 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 hollow. Huh? It's, it's, it doesn't have any meaning. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't tell us anything. It doesn't tell us anything about the person or their programs. But it appeals to. It appeals to emotions and and not not to reason. It appeals to emotions and not to reason. And we're seeing appeals to emotion in in much of the. American political campaign. Now, I'm a little at a disadvantage uh, without Professor Marston or Professor Smith to help me with foreign policy because uh, I have not gone through all of all of uh, Professor Marston's references here, but. Uh, uh, she asked that uh, she asked that you all choose one of the works below and write comments or or summaries um, about aspects of American foreign policy. But I would like uh, I would like to have your thoughts on Rus on Russian foreign policy, kind of a, your statement of Russian. Foreign policy toward Syria and Libya and Iran and Pakistan and Afghanistan. Uh, Shiata, I wonder if you could start. Would you be able to start? And and just just no, describe please. for us. I'm not asking you to tell us if what, but can you tell us about Russian policy towards Syria? Or Libya, or Iran, or Pakistan, or Afghanistan. Oh no, sorry, I'm bad today. Huh? Or how about? Obama's, Sieta, how about President Obama's attitudes towards these countries? Syria, Libya, Iran, Pakistan, or Afghanistan? Um, no, I can hardly okay. say something. All right. Um, uh, Dina, how about you? Can you tell us about um, Romney's view? <laughs> Or um, Obama's view toward these countries. <laughs> Buddy, 
Misha, how about you? Romney or Obama on Syria, Libya, Iran, Pakistan? Um, Steve Cole. Steve Cole. Uh, right, or oh, about six problem. Uh, six problem that <sighs> that. Um, President or candidate have not said anything in the debate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Misha, how about you? Что я по этому думаю, да? Да, да, да. Good. Yeah, oh, uh, yes, mm. yes, yes. Daniel, how about yourself? What? Uh, about Daniel, what? About Romney or Obama, and and uh, and that list of countries that I listed, Afghanistan. Let's, let's see. Uh, I think that uh, foreign policy of Obama is uh, not is not really moral. Uh, to my point of view, because uh, when he supports military groups in Libya and calls those groups opposition, I think it's uh, it isn't right because I consider those groups as terrorists. Uh huh. Because uh, only terrorists can kill their leader, um, Gaddafi. Uh -huh. And the way he died. And um, here in Russia, there are there, uh, there was a thing oh, which made which made a lot of noise in our news channels. And uh, um, Vladimir uh, Putin said that uh, helping those military groups it's an uh, international crime. Uh -huh. And uh, to those countries which supported them uh, have to um, accept punishment from the uh, how, uh, how how to call it Mirovoye uh, Sovietsko the world worldwide community yeah yeah the world, worldwide the world community, the world community. And, uh, Medvedev, he was a president the, the time, and he said that the, it is unacceptable to Vladimir Vladimir to say that, and he supported those countries. Uh huh. I, I lost my belief to our uh, to Medvedev. After he said that, because I really think that that kind of behavior of uh, American government and uh, other countries is not right, and I still think that those countries, Libya, Syria, and Pakistan, can can. Um, carry on their own and they can solve all the, those problems with their own powers and okay. that's all I can say. But that, Daniel, that's an excellent, uh, that's an excellent, uh, excellent statement. I, I appreciate it. It's a very thoughtful statement. There's a difference. How much of a difference is there between a revolutionary and a terrorist, it, it depends on uh, it depends on um, it depends on 
on, on, on whether you on who, which side you're on, because it could be the same person. Yeah. It could be the same person. History is written yeah. by the winners. History is written by those who win. Huh? History is written by those who win. Uh, uh, Daniel, thank you very much. Andre, are you there? Andre Dor. Yes. Thank you. So, so what about what about American foreign policy? What about Obama's foreign policy or Mitt Romney's uh, uh, foreign policy toward Libya and Afghanistan uh, and, and uh, those countries? Huh. Well, I think uh, the American policy, according to Afghanistan, I think, uh, and for Libya, they want to, like, uh, like change the political structure of these countries. Mm, well, I think uh, all countries for example, Russia or America support uh, those leaders uh, who is like uh, who is easy to talk mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with whom is easier to talk mm -hmm. with whom is easier to communicate to like have a conclusion for some subject, some uh, issues or questions. Okay, I understand. Good, Andre. Thank you. Ilya, are you there? Are you there? Ilya? There we go. Ilya, uh, can, can you tell us one difference between Obama's foreign policy and Mitt Romney's view on foreign policy? How about their policy toward Russia or their policy toward China? Seem to have lost Ilya. Ilya's gone. All right. Well, I. Okay. Let's see. Daniel, you you posted in Moodle. Who else posted? Who posted in Moodle? Dima. Dima, are you there? Yes, 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 I'm here. Okay. <coughs> Dima, have you been listening to our conversation? Ah, uh, yes, yes, I uh, heard it. Okay, Dima, t t tell us. Uh, uh, we've been talking about uh, Afghanistan, the, the 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 Near East. Uh, Syria, Libya, Iran, Egypt. What about what about China? What what about the U.S. foreign policy toward China? Can you can you describe that? Hmm, I, I'll try. I think that it's very difficult um, question to uh, to speak about foreign policy um, to China because, as I know, uh, a lot of um, American. Uh, Companies, factories, uh, have factories in China. Uh -huh. So, so in some way, America depends on China. Uh, American economics depends on on China, on the Chinese power. Uh -huh. uh, and from the um, from the other side, uh, uh, China is. Uh, uh, Communist country. Yeah. So it's, it's not non democracy country. Uh -huh. and, uh, this is very really controversial situation. Uh -huh. 
Good points. Uh, uh, good, good points. Dima, I want to ask you one, one more question. What, what about Russian foreign policy toward China? Uh, about Russian foreign policy, I think that uh, now Russian foreign policy, not only to China, to other countries, was really um, was changed very, really seriously because in Soviet time, uh, China was, um, as the Soviet Union was, a communist country, uh, and uh, they. Um, we were in Iran. Uh, uh, it's um, a, a, a union. It was a union of uh, communist countries, so such as uh, USSR, China, Vietnam, uh, North Korea, and others. But uh, but now uh, we um, we I think Russia. Uh, um, think that this country is uh, uh, just economic ec economical partner, and, and we have um, um, uh, соседняя страна, uh -huh. uh, neighbor country, a neighbor. neighbor country. So, so we, we might have. Uh, good relations with uh, neighbor country because in uh, Russia there are a lot of immigrants uh, from China uh -huh. and um, a lot of workers from China. So we um, have some some problems with them and uh, we, um, we must to alleviate this problem. Very good. When when uh, many years ago. Um, in in the 1960s, we we had what was called the Sino-Soviet bloc, the Sino-Soviet bloc. Shetlana, do you know this term, Sino-Soviet bloc? Daniel, do you know this term, Sino-Soviet bloc? It's an opposition bloc of NATO. Yeah, am I right? Yeah, yeah well, yes, I think so. Sino-Soviet bloc was the was was the was the was was the political uh, alliance for the Soviet government and the communist Chinese government. It was in the 60s. Okay, <laughs> we seem to be having a, a very bad connections today. Um, it's it's possible that the weather is causing these issues. That's entirely likely. I think that I think that uh, the storm may have disrupted connections or links or whatever. Um, Professor Sheslakov, do you want to, uh, do you think maybe we have covered the subject adequately for today? Uh, I think we, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yeah, I I think that we can we can continue probably a little bit. Uh, maybe maybe it's because, but I don't know if uh, Webex uh, is operated today through the U.S. or maybe or Europe. I'm not sure. It could be. It could be something. Uh, another reason is that I am thinking of is uh, um, that Webex uh, has upgraded its version so that everyone can have microphones 
without uh, having to pass it from each other, maybe they still have some bugs because of that. Or it's a combination of uh, the, uh, the hurricane effects and uh, I don't know. I just, I'm just guessing. I have no idea why. But I think it happened. Uh, we had some issues a few days ago already with WebEx. Many of the internet channels to Europe flow through the East Coast. Okay. Yeah. That's possible. I, uh, that's entirely possible. But well, speaking about foreign, foreign policy, we can maybe uh, uh, talk a little bit about the uh, attitudes of uh, Russians uh, to foreign policy in general, or maybe to U.S. in general, uh -huh. uh, because now we can we can read very different comments uh, in uh, in Russian blogs, for example, on FMS Blue blog, where uh, the some some people post uh, like kind of evil or mean comments that the hurricane is the punishment. From, <laughs> from the skies to <laughs> Americans for the uh, for the role of a of a gendarme, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Right, uh, the world's policeman. Yeah. Yeah, the world's policeman. Yeah. <laughs> it looks stupid and sometimes disgusting, but they, there are many of them actually, and so. I think I, I, I heard the same the same uh, kind of reaction on even when uh, there was the Fukushima uh, accident on, on, uh, in Japan in Japan the nuclear nuclear power station. Uh, some people said that ah, it's, I think even some some prominent Russian journalists they they uh, said this, uh, but. Uh, Maybe even some Russian religious leaders, uh, or some Orthodox leaders, said that it's like a, that the Japanese were punished by the heaven for uh -huh. the scenes. Yeah. Well, well, let, let's look at let let's look at these uh, since uh, we're talking about Sandy, the the Hurricane Sandy, uh, and, and that, that that seems to be affecting our lesson today. And, uh, 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 and and, and uh, people notice that that this hurricane and uh, and, th and things like the the Fukushima uh, reactor in Japan, Hurricane Katrina, uh, that these natural disasters, natural disasters. Uh, uh, are, uh, are an opportunity to continue. that we are um, that the government needs to respond to these natural disasters. Uh, some people believe that they are punishment from God. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think that God d does this deliberately, but that's a matter of of, of, of faith and belief. But, but let's talk about what we can look at is the government's response. So in the case of what right now, uh, Obama has stopped his campaign, essentially. Uh, uh, Mitt Romney has stopped his campaign, essentially. Obama has returned to Washington to take charge of the response, and what do you think the response will look like? What what would you expect the government to do in a case like this, Svetlana? Could you tell us what would what what is the government's response? What oh, sorry? 
What should the government do? All right now? Yeah. Is this all? Yeah. I think they do uh, everything they can. Well, uh, uh, that you're now you're Yazalutrizizen. Uh, what do you mean everything they can? Like name three, th name one thing. Uh, I mean, I saw the news today, and uh, there was different. Uh, I don't know how to say. Um, firemen or policemen who um, take care of people. Um, medicine, yes. That's good. That's um, that 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 that's good. Like the, the firemen. And the policemen, the the EMS, the technicians, Skoraya they, Pomos, mm -hmm. they help the people, they rescue the people, they, they, they uh, uh, repair uh, 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 injuries, uh, they, they take, they treat injuries, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Good. But I uh, think that Obama can do nothing because it is nature. Yeah, you think and so? He can't it stop? Huh? <laughs> okay. What What can Obama do, Svetlana? What do you think? Uh, as I have said, he can do nothing. Okay. Does it because uh, he can't stop. He can't stop the storm. He can't stop the storm, but but uh, can he can he provide? Um, uh, money? Mm, of course he can, and I think that uh, uh, the governors of uh, all states that are uh, on the storm now, they they knew about it, and they were ready to it. Right. We were prepared. Yes, they they were prepared. And mm -hmm. and in, for example, in New York City, the, the the mayor of New York City stopped the uh, stopped the subway, the metro. He stopped mm -hmm. the transportation system. He uh, and he told people to evacuate, evacuate. Good, good, good. Uh, Shetha, thank you. Uh, Daniel, what do you think the government should? What What's another way that the government can help? What else can the government do? Andre, what's another thing that the government can do? Mm, no, I think I'm the sorry. <laughs> I thought my microphone was on. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, that uh, Neil, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what else can the government do? Uh, I think that um, the time has come when uh, everyone should understand that elections are not the most important thing in the world and. Uh, Romney and Obama should work together and uh, use all their money, all uh, their people to help everyone who is suffering from this uh, hur hurricane. Uh -huh. yep, it's a hurricane. Well, that, that's a that's a very interesting that's a very interesting proposal. Very interesting proposal. I, I I like it. It's 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 well intentioned. It's good hearted. Uh, but I wonder, as uh, I'm a bit of a cynic, and I wonder if that would really come to pass. But uh, uh, I read in newspapers that after all this started, Obama and Romney uh, has uh, come back home to think how should it affect. The election, uh -huh. but okay. not how to save people. Exactly. Good point. It, it, it was. Yeah. Good. Good. Good for you. All right. Dima, how about yourself? 
What can they do? Mm. No, I think that the government, first of all, uh, must uh, inform people about uh, such um, situations. Inform uh, before it will start. So people must know because uh, we are in Russia, I know that uh, government uh, don't inform in China people. And so, so it's difficult to, to do something. But if if uh, citizens will know that uh, something will happen, they can, can be prepared to. Uh, and uh, they will know this, and the government, government must uh, say to people what to do in these situations. So, um, to give them special instructions, probably. To, to say that no, no, not to go out, uh, not to use uh, traffic uh, cars and, some, and uh, other things. That's a very I, good that's a very good point. I uh, and and I my impression is that my impression is that this time the the government did give plenty of warning to people because this this storm is a very very slow moving storm and people had 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 much time to to prepare for it. Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Misha, are you there? Oh uh, yeah. So, what is one thing that the government can do in a, for a disaster like this? Uh, of course, uh, uh, Obama must really the American people to uh, have the concerns. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Andre, how about yourself? How about you? No, I absolutely agree with Dima. I think the first step is inform people. It's help to bear damage of this. There we go. What can the government do? And I think it's uh, very important to avoid, like, to prevent in a panic. Okay. Panic. Uh, the people. Uh, they scare, I think, this cataclysm, and the uh, government should uh, should help people to understand that it's uh, not um, like uh, <laughs> like uh, avoid panic, I think. Mm -hmm. Ilya, are you there? Do we, we, do we get Ilya? Ah, oh, Andre, there you are. Good for you. Andre. Ilya, are you there? We don't have Ilya. Well, you know, there are, there are things that can... There were there were many things that the government can do before the storm and after the storm. And before the storm, it's to protect people and and to protect property and 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 to to, to take steps to avoid a, a major catastrophe. And afterwards, the government provides shelter and food and water and electricity and and restores public order restores civic order civil order those are those are basic kinds of of, of, of those are basic kinds of uh, basic kinds of, of services and and I think that elected officials also have a role in being a, a a moral presence, kind of a moral reassurance. During the 9/11 disaster, the mayor of New York, Robert Giuliani, was 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 very effective as a as a rallying point, as a as a as someone who would reassure the people and to keep their spirits alive. And I think that President Obama 
is is trying to do that now to to uh, to be a presence uh, uh, to be a source of reassurance to people to be a sh source of reassurance to people all right professor shestakov have we covered this this subject do you think uh <laughs> I don't know, let's ask students. Maybe the students have questions about the U.S. Uh, foreign policy and the, maybe the relations between Russia and the U.S. Okay, uh, well, have they, have they improved recently or have they uh, worsened, deteriorated? All right, <clears throat> all right let, let's, let's conclude today with a little, with more foreign policy. But foreign policy. Like the mo the most maybe simple questions is still are Russians and uh, are is is the U.S. and Russia are friends or enemies? Uh, are they allies or they are opponents? What do you think? Are the U.S. and Russia friends, enemies, adversaries, rivals, opponents? What uh, What do you think? What is the relationship between the U.S. and Russia? Friends, companions, adversaries, opponents. Ilya says that they're adversaries, okay, adversaries, uh, adversaries. Daniel, what do you think? What is the relationship between our two countries? I think uh, Ilya is right. Uh, America and Russia are adversaries, of course, because uh, when uh, uh, two, uh, when there are two powerful countries on a world map, they will always be adversaries. Adversaries? Uh -huh. Yeah, just like uh, Obama and Romney. <laughs> <laughs> adversaries. Uh, so what kind of adversaries? Military? or economic, or cultural, what kind? The, um, let me find the word. Um, and influence adversaries. And, what kind? Um, uh, how to say that um, we're fighting for Influence. Influence. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. Influence. Influence in the world. In the world. In the world. Shitlana, you are not shy. What what is what kind of what what is the relationship between the US and Russia? What is our foreign policy like? Probably I agree with both, and the Russia, uh, Russia and the U.S. are divided. But I think there is still some incompleteness between the. Mm -hmm. Something unfinished between them, huh? Yes. Uh, this is a work in progress, huh? What is the what is the Russian word a draft a, a Chernovik uh, a draft all right um, Andre what do you think what's the relationship between our two countries Oh. 
I think it is like all of this in some questions. But in general, I think uh, it was impossible for countries to make like friends or enemies. Uh, it's uh, all countries are like uh, I think uh, all countries are advertisers. Okay, all right. But there's rivalries. There are rivalries between rivalries between all countries. Rivalries between all countries. I think. On on some on some field. How about now Professor Marston asks a very good question here. How does religion affect international relations? How does religion affect international relations? Does religion affect Russian poli Russian foreign policy? Foreign policy? A anyone? Mm, I I think that um, it's um, religion problems. It's uh, not the main problem. I think that uh, economical problems, economical factors. Uh, uh, I think on full economic determining politics, determining politics. I mean, influence, I think, influence. influence. Oh, I think that it's really not determining. So economically determining politics as uh, Karl Marx said, and they think it's it's really a thing. Um, because, for example, Soviet Union was non-religious country, uh -huh. but but they uh, couldn't build uh, relations with the uh, United States or with another country. So I think that uh, economical influence in the world is uh, one of the reasons of uh, politician problems. Okay. Dima, very nice. Thank you very much. They're very thoughtful. Anyone else? How about the effect of religion on foreign policy, on national policy? Anyone? All right. Well, it's about religion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that it's a question of history, and uh, our country what you used to be a really religious country. Uh, there were well, there wasn't only one religion in our history, but. We always used to believe in God in some, of some kind, uh -huh. but uh, I think that America is a really young country, and uh, religion that doesn't affect so much in foreign policy of America. I think I think you're probably that's a good generalization. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Though conservative Christians, evangelical Christians in the United States have a very have a very different view of 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 uh, uh, the is Israeli question, the Palestinian question, than liberal politicians do. Okay, all right, Professor Shestakov. Yes, <laughs> um, I think uh, I think that kind of covers the material for today. Uh, today was a bit of a Plan B. Uh, Maybe we can ask students uh, if they uh, have some uh, 
maybe wishes uh, what kind of topics they would like to cover in the next lessons. Uh, okay. Does anyone, um, uh, the next lesson, uh, next week, uh, next week our plan is to talk about, is to take a break from political questions, take a little uh, unthracked, uh, and, uh, and to talk about holidays. Next week we're going to talk about holidays, but after that, uh, uh, is there anything that uh, and, uh, is there anything that anyone would like to talk about? I think about uh, results of election in the United States. We will we will talk about that. We'll talk about that on uh, in two weeks. Uh, in two weeks, uh, on the 13th, November 13th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, Misha, what would you like to discuss maybe in uh, later next next month? Andre, Ilya, Daniel, Sveta. Uh, I think that um, holidays is a nice topic. We can talk okay. about Halloween and New York. All right, Ho holidays are good, but uh, but I want I, I think it's important that we that we kind of summarize the foreign policy. We we will yeah. summarize uh, summarize the foreign policy. And that's interesting that I think in Russia there are some objections against the Halloween. Uh huh. Okay. Well, we that that's for next week. That that's yeah, for next week. Yeah. Yeah. That's for next week. All right. So next week, next week, uh, summarize foreign policy and uh, holidays. Week after that, we will have. Uh, the week after that, we will uh, summarize the election. We'll summarize the election. So that, those are, and we'll send you the assignments over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Ну, вы сегодня поняли, да, что сегодня был план Б, да, потому что ни Джен, ни Пит не могли присоединиться к нам. А, связь плохая. И непонятно, да, может быть, это связано с ураганом. Еще с чем-то. Да. да. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and conclude today's lesson on that note. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ilyan, Lisa, Sveta, Daniel, Dima, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Спасибо всем. Joe, shall we stay for a moment? Let's do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh,